these nuts. Hi, I'm Neo, and this is going to be your season four guide to the best foods. I'm going to be going through every tier of food from green to purple to tell you what the best options are, where to find the ingredients, and how to make them. As a heads up for the Rozzy players, you should particularly pay attention to the chocolate pie boxes or the chocolate chip cookies. And for you 11 players out there, I'll be going over your number 11 combo meals during the purple tier. And as a quick other side note, you should always open these airdrops to check if there's food in them. Because a lot of the time, if you're desperate and you need something in a pinch, these airdrops contain pretty decent tier food. So let's stop making that garlic bread and let's start making a copious amount of butter. Like actually, butter, butter's insane. <laughs> The reason I'm skipping the gray tier is because that's just the ingredients you need to make the stuff. So we're jumping right on into the green tier. A very good early green tier food is honey cod steak. This gives you 625 HP regen and it crafts into two each time. It just requires cod, which you can find on any of the ocean side fishing spots being beach, uptown or dock and honey which you can get in either forest, alley, or avenue. Both honey and cod are collected as multiple stacks already. And since one craft makes two honey cod steak, you can immediately go right in and make four of them. It's a great low tier food for fighting the hunts and the uh, other NPCs. There's actually a couple green tier foods that heal as much or more than some of the other blue tier foods. And they're surprisingly easy to make. If you're around cemetery or forest, you can make a couple fish fillet with eggs. Now this is a great green tier food that is actually really good for fighting other players with in the early game. It gives 700 HP regen. And all it takes to make is fishing some carp and egg. You can get both of those items in forest or cemetery now if you're looking for some other really early game survival food and you don't want to take the time out to go fishing you can take your two starter bread and grab some coffee from cemetery uptown or dock and make two buns which is also a 700 hp regen food one last 700 hp regen food that i have in the green tier and that's canned cod liver all it takes is a can from school, avenue, or beach, and the cod, which is from the ocean spots. So if you start in beach, you can just make that right off the bat. Now there's only two other green tier foods that I think are worth creating, but only for the purpose of upgrading them into a blue tier food. And that's gonna be choco pies and butter. And honestly, butter is probably one of the most versatile foods that I have seen for the purpose of upgrading. Butter just takes milk and branches. Yeah, branches. I, I guess you you take the branch, use the branches to, to churn the milk. Yeah, really, if you ever uh, start in Avenue Hospital or Chapel, uh, you should grab, grab some milk, make some butter. That stuff's real good. Choco pies are pretty easy too. Uh, you should probably take this option if you're on the west side of the map. Uh, choco pies you just make with your starter bread and some chocolate and you just get chocolate from Avenue Archer range and uptown now if you don't go to any of those areas or You're just lazy like I am a lot of the time um, You could just make some hamburgers. It's not really one of the best options you could make unless you're 11 but but a hamburger is really easy to make. All you have to do is get some meat from almost every hunt and your starter bread. The only hunts that don't drop meat are those wild dogs and bats. Blue tier. Now this is gonna be your 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 meat and potatoes, your uh, your 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 creme de la creme. Uh. uh I don't know, it's, they're fucking good. Let's talk about those green tier upgrades first. Uh, so you got your Choco Pies. All you need to do is get some boxes. Yeah, 
Yeah, boxes. You can find boxes in dock, chapel, or pond. Slap a choco pie in a box together, and it makes two choco pie boxes. Innovation on the name, I know. Uh, choco pie boxes give 733 HP regen. And this is the second best blue tier food in the game. No, the first aid kit does not count. The best blue tier food in the game is actually just butter fried potatoes. Take that stick of butter you made earlier and let's go gather some potatoes, which you can find in pod, alley, or temple. Butter fried potatoes give a whopping 766 HP regen. Now remember when I said butter's the most versatile? That's because butter can be turned into two other food options. And if you don't want to go out of your way to gather the potatoes, or you're looking for something a little bit more conducive to your pathing, have I got options for you. Butter can also be turned into chocolate chip cookies or honey butter. You just need chocolate, which again is from Avenue, Archery Range, or Uptown, or honey, which is from Avenue, again, Alley, or Forest. Now for either of these, they also heal an equivalent amount to those chocolate pie boxes, which was 733 HP region. Now I hear you. I hear your thoughts. I hear what you're thinking. You haven't really said anything about factory or dock all that much. And yeah, yeah, you're right. Because they suck ass for food options. Listen, folks, those of you who start in dock or factory, you really only have one, one option for a blue tier food. A blue tier food. That's called foreshadowing. Ramen. A lot of ramen. Grab a lighter. Make yourself some boiled water. Grab yourself one of those nice little ramen packets. Boil it up. And you got yourself some hot ramen. But don't eat it. Now I know if you're in fact or your dock, you're going to be either going somewhere around cemetery or you're going to be going up towards alley or temple. Grab yourself some garlic while you're over there and make your hot ramen into garlic ramen. Now let me tell you, every boiled water plus ramen combination makes two hot ramen. And every garlic plus hot ramen in combination makes two garlic ramen. This is a really good way to make a lot of decent food very quickly. Now you're talking about a lot of food recipes and a lot of zones and all this other stuff. It's a lot of mumbo jumbo. I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to cook at all. Well, let me tell you, there's options for that too. Uh, if you just kill some wolves or bears, they drop heated oil. Take that heated oil with some meat and it makes fried chicken. Honestly, fried chicken still has 700 HP regen. And in a pinch, it's still really good to make it, especially if you get the heated oil drop. Now, if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum and you are loving all these recipes and crafting, and you're like, ooh, I can't wait to theory craft some foods together and stuff. Have I got things for you to make? <laughs> We're going into the purple tier. Now in the purple tier, there are only four foods. And we're just gonna jump right into the OG or original purple tier food that's craftable by every character in the game. The old fish and chips. When I said you factory folks are in a prime position for those that blue tier food, well, let me tell you, fish and chips are the way to go. Now, if you're around factory uptown or dock, you are in a prime position to start making some fish and chips. You're gonna wanna go get some of that heated oil I talked about earlier. And you're gonna want about six of them. Now let's go get some cod from Beach Uptown or Dock at those ocean fishing spots. Make three fish cutlets. Now we need potatoes. Go over to Temple Alley or Pond and gather up some of those potatoes and make three french fries. Using those three fish cutlets and three french fries, we can combine those two together and we make fish and chips. You'll have about six of them, which is a max stack. This is one of the absolute best foods in the entire game. 
rocking a solid 920 HP regen. Now, if you find yourself a mithril piece and you don't really know what to do with it, you can actually turn that into a food item. If you take mithril and combine it with water, it actually creates holy water. The weird thing about holy water is it has 850 HP regen, but it also increases your defense by 10 for the duration of the heal. A much easier recipe to make as well, but maybe not the best investment, is going to be the Zen Vitality. The recipe is a Buddhist scripture from Temple and, wait for it, a Tree of Life. Now, I'm not going to be here and tell you how to play the game. So grab that Tree of Life and that Buddhist scripture and make yourself a Zen Vitality. Zen Vitality does have the highest HP regen in the entire game at 960. Unless you happen to be playing 11. And yes, this is going to be an 11 only item. 11 players, 11 aspires. This is your spotlight. Here's your section. The number 11 combo meal. The absolute best food in the entire game. You're gonna wanna make those french fries I talked about earlier with heated oil and potatoes. Bread. You can use your starting bread, but you can also get more bread from a school or hospital. You take that bread and combine it with meat to make those hamburgers. Combine your hamburgers and your french fries as an 11, and you make yourself the number 11 combo meal. This item gives a whopping 980 HP regen. Now that's all the really, really good foods in the entire game. I know that's a lot of information all at once, but go ahead and check your pads and see what food is best for you to make. Now with all that being said, it is better to have food than to not have food. Sometimes you just need to slap some stuff together. Go ahead and make that garlic bread if you're in a pinch, right? And a disclaimer, <laughs> all these foods and items can be changed and moved around at any point in time. Double check when this video was made. I mean, heck, eggs used to be in archer range and that used to be part of my early game start was making boiled eggs. They ain't there anymore. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.